South Africa's economy is facing significant challenges. Ongoing energy crises and electricity supply constraints, weak commodity prices, and the effects of the war in Ukraine are a few to mention. As a result, the International Monetary Fund IMF, predicts that South Africa's real GDP growth will slow down to just 0.1%, which is significantly behind the 3.6% forecast for Sub-Saharan Africa as a whole. South Africa's economy faces significant challenges, predicting a global economic slowdown. While Sub-Saharan Africa is expected to experience an average real GDP growth rate of 3.6% in 2023, South Africa's growth is predicted to be only 0.1%. This is due to ongoing energy crises and electricity supply constraints, as well as weak commodity prices and the effects of the war in Ukraine. The IMF has slightly trimmed its 2023 global growth outlook due to higher interest rates, which have cooled activity. If there is a severe flare-up of financial system turmoil, it could reduce output to near recessionary levels. The IMF has forecasted global real GDP growth at 2.8% for 2023 and 3.0% for 2024, marking a sharp slowdown from 3.4% growth in 2022 due to tighter monetary policy. We intend to provide current affairs in 5 minutes packs. Please, support us through your likes and shares, and subscribe our channel for more 5-minute video packs. The IMF's report discusses several potential scenarios that could lead to financial turmoil and negatively impact global growth. One plausible scenario involves stress on vulnerable banks, which could cause funding conditions to tighten for all banks due to concerns about solvency and potential exposures across the financial system. According to the IMF's World Economic Outlook for the spring meetings of the IMF and World Bank, South Africa's real GDP growth will slow down to just 0.1%, which is a long way behind the 3.6% forecast for Sub-Saharan Africa as a whole. However, growth is expected to rebound in 2024, with South Africa's GDP expected to increase by 1.8% and the broader region's GDP by 4.2%. A Bloomberg monthly survey of economists conducted in January 2023 found a 45% chance of South Africa slipping into a recession this year due to the ongoing electricity crisis and dim global economic prospects. This is up from odds of 35% in November 2022, around the start of the longest streak of consecutive daily power cuts. Eskom Holdings Sock Limited the state-owned company that produces almost all of South Africa's electricity, has subjected the country to record blackouts of up to 12 hours a day to protect the power grid from collapse as its aging, mostly coal-fired power stations fail. The economy is unlikely to grow by more than 0.3% quarter-on-quarter through 2023, according to the survey. The South African Reserve Bank is expected to cut interest rates from the fourth quarter, but before that, it is likely to extend its bond-buying program to help boost the economy. To prevent a recession, the South African government is exploring alternative energy sources to reduce the country's dependence on ESCOM. President Cyril Ramaphosa has announced plans to open up the energy market to private companies and increase the use of renewable energy. The government is also investing in infrastructure projects to stimulate economic growth. Additionally, the South African government is working to address corruption and improve the efficiency of state-owned enterprises like ESCOM. In February 2023, the government appointed a new board of directors for ESCOM to oversee the implementation of a turnaround plan for the company. The plan includes reducing the company's debt, improving maintenance of its power plants, and exploring alternative energy sources. The government is also seeking to boost exports and attract foreign investment to support economic growth. In January 2023, the government announced a new investment drive aimed at raising $100 billion in new investment over the next five years. The drive focuses on sectors such as mining, tourism, and renewable energy. The South African government is also working to address the country's high unemployment rate, which is currently at 30%. 
In January 2023, the government announced a new job creation program aimed at creating 1 million new jobs over the next three years. The program includes initiatives, such as infrastructure development, training and skills development, and support for small businesses. The government is also working to improve access to education and healthcare. In February 2023, the government announced a new social development program, aimed at providing support to vulnerable communities. Despite these efforts, economists warned that the ongoing electricity crisis and dim global economic prospects pose significant challenges to the South African economy. The government will need to continue to implement measures to boost economic growth and prevent a recession. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe our channel for more videos.